Hey, welcome back. Uh, before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We get content uh, straight to your inbox as we release new videos. So go ahead and hit it right now. It only takes a second to do. Uh, anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about correlation matrices in matrices in Tableau. Um, they are a little bit funky to work with. That's the best way that I can describe them. But we're going to hop in. I'm going to use Tableau Superstore data. 2020.4. I'm going to use Tableau 20.4. Um, and in this visualization you're seeing right here is a correlation between sales and profit. And it's broken out by region and subcategory. And frankly, in this type of analysis, we'd want to see very consistent correlations, but they're not. They're very different. I don't even have the values labeled on here, which I could show the mark labels as well. But really what I would be more interested in is the correlation of sales within this particular category on some value that's identical. So let's create this visualization and then I'll show you another way to create it. Really, I'm, I'd rather create something that looks like this, which is looking within subcategory and looking at the correlations within those. And I'll show you how to do that in a second, but let's start with this first one. So number one, we're just gonna take, uh, let's just use order date and double click and place that out as a year on our view we'll do entire view and then we'll find subcategory as well and place that out on rows and now let's create our correlations so our correlation is using tableau's correlation function i'm just going to create a new calculation and show you how it's going to be done i'm just going to type core here and then we're going to do a correlation between i don't know let's do um the number of orders and the total sales those should be really highly correlated if you think about it in some sense like hey, if you sell more items, the volume, you should have a higher amount of sales. So I'll just say core uh, sales and N, and N for me is just the number of orders. And the calculation is very straightforward. We're gonna just say core, that's our function, and we're gonna roll these up at the order level. So we'll just say include, so we're gonna include it at the order ID, and then we'll say colon, and for here, for this level that, um, you know, right, if we use include, it's going to include year and subcategory in this analysis. But we're going to sum up sales for that include statement. And then on the next line, we're going to do an include. And we are going to do, again, order ID. We're going to do the sum of the quantity. <laughs> Blanked out there for a second. Um, perfect. We have now our sales and our quantity, those are gonna roll up in a include level detail, very rare use of include. Uh, we'll hit okay, and let's go find this correlation. And now we'll just take this and place this on text. And you'll see, uh, yeah, there is a positive correlation between the two for almost all of them. If I add this to color, change our mark type to square, we have a correlation matrix. Interesting supplies in 2018, not positively correlated. Again, I would imagine year across year, there would be extreme consistency in these values. And the fact that we see some inconsistency in this measure makes me wonder if there's something up with the data. Like maybe it's made up, but of course it is. We know it's made up. Or there's maybe, you know, some uh, another possibility is there's some real outliers of orders inside of supplies and also in machines in 2020 as well, seeing that really low correlation value. Anyway, this is one way to do it. The one challenge we have though is that we can't do within subcategory analysis, meaning if I went and found subcategory again and I replaced year, I can't do an analysis like, you know, a matrix to look at what's the relationship between accessories and appliances in terms of orders. It doesn't work that way. We need to create a new data set and that to do that kind of analysis where we can create a correlation matrix that looks like what we see here on our visualization. So what we're looking at here is a correlation matrix of the relationship between subcategories for any given order. So of course, any accessory order is also gonna be correlated with an accessory order. But how about chairs? Are chairs and accessories orders correlated? Yes, just a little bit, 0.8%. That's a small correlation, but still related. And um, yeah. This is what we're gonna look at. Oh, look at this one. Uh, there's a correlation between machines and copiers at 100% correlation. So that's a very interesting relationship that we're able to find. 
This means that every single machine's order, any order with the machines, also has a copier's order. Anyway, let's go and recreate this visualization. We're going to go to a new sheet. We're going to actually make a new data source. We're going to edit and we're going to go data, new data source. We're going to choose sample superstore. That's going to load up our new data source. Here it is. It's a copy. I'm going to edit it. So here we go. Edit our data source. And we're going to remove some of these relationships that Tableau's put in place. So let's get rid of those. Bye bye people. Bye bye orders. Now let's just drag orders together on orders. Orders on orders. That's very interesting relationship, but we're going to tie them together with a common tie of order ID. So every order ID is going to be reconnected to the same order ID. And that's it. That is all we need to tie out for this relationship. Just assign them to order to order. And that's going to roll our analysis up to the order ID level that we see here. And now we can just hit close. X that out and go back to our sheet. Now we'll have, if you take a look, if I search for subcategory, we have two. One for each of the tables that we brought in. So I could take subcategory from orders and put it that on our view and subcategories from order one. Also place that on our view because it's kind of like a duplicate. And let's make it fill our entire view. Now we can create a new calculated field here. And we're just going to say, core and we'll use our include again we're going to include it at the order id technically it should roll up at that level but we're just ensuring that it does and again this is going to include both subcategories when we do this and we're just going to say sum of sales and we'll do comma then we're going to do a correlation between include order id orders that second data source on the sum of sales of orders one. So we're going to do an analysis between the two data sources, but they're identical. The way that we've joined them is identical. So we can just say this is our correlation matrix. We're going to hit OK. Let's go find correlation matrix. Now we can place this out onto our color, and we have built out our full correlation matrix. It, it looks exactly how we would have intended. Uh, except, you know, we have more than the matrix that we need. We only need half. If you look, it's really symmetrical. So copiers along columns is going to be the same along rows. So we have redundant information. How can you remove that? Well, you can just create another calculation. Just call it subcat tf. And we're just going to say subcategory of is less than or equal to the subcategory of orders. Hit OK. Let's go find this. And we'll place this out onto filters. And we'll choose true. And there it is. We've now created our correlation matrix that takes up exactly half. We just need to do a little bit of formatting. Right click, hide columns for labels. Same on subcategory here. While we're at it, we could just rotate these labels if we wanted to. and um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I would do to this analysis. By the way, if you wanted the other side of the matrix, you could just double click on filters and change it to false. And you can see the other side of the correlation matrix. And the fact that we know appliances are going to be equally tied out to appliances, we just remove that one to one line all the way down. And this is probably a better look at the analysis that we wanted to do. Anyway, that is building correlation matrices in Tableau. So there are two big takeaways from this analysis. Number one is that if you're going to do a correlation, you need to do it amongst two values, uh, whether it's number of orders or total sales, uh, whatever the measures are, you need multiple measures. You need at least two to do your correlation matrix. And then you're going to do that across multiple dimensions. Actually, you don't even need multiple dimensions. You just need one uh, dimension for it. But if you're going to look at the correlation matrix, uh, of subcategory or one dimension versus the same dimension. You need to edit your data and do a relationship join on the level of detail that you're interested in. In our case, that was at the order level. And that's why we did the join at the order level so that we could roll it up at that level. 
and then that'll allow you to create a correlation matrix that compares one value because we're just using it across two different data sources and using relationships to join it together. We can use just sales versus sales on one dimension. That's the key to that analysis. Anyway, that's this video. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit the like button. Also just hit subscribe while you're at it. You'll be added to our list uh, and you'll get updates in your inbox as new videos come out on YouTube. Anyway, we'll catch you in the next one and have a great day.